Hey runners, I'm going to take you through a kettlebell workout today. Now, don't turn off if you haven't got a kettlebell. You can do this with a dumbbell, you can do it with a large milk carton that you fill with water or with sand, or you can do it as a body weight routine as well. It really is adaptable to whatever you have or don't have at home. Now, when we talk about weight, the size of a weight that we're going to use really depends on what we're doing with it. So a light weight, like a one kilogram, might not do much for me if I was to bicep curl it like this, using it to uh, just work that muscle. That's not going to do a lot for me. But taking it out in my hand and changing how my centre of uh, gravity is, my, the centre of my balance is, is going to really slightly make my body have to think a little bit more about stabilising itself and keeping me upright. So don't be limited by what you have at home. Just think of ways that you can use it in another way. So let's get going. Um, you're going to need maybe a cushion or a, a towel rolled up because we're going to do some things that are kneeling um, and it just be a bit nicer on your knees. Okay, let's start warming up. So, jogging on the spot. Hands to your shoulders. Make some circles with those elbows out to the side. So, I'm going to level with you today. I'm going to be honest and say, I'm premenstrual right now. Other way with your elbows. Um, and I'm telling you this not to be making any excuses, but because genuinely, hands reach over your head, genuinely, this phase of the cycle is when you tend to feel really low on energy. Um, so that's how I feel today. But I know that doing a little bit of exercise is going to help that. But also to say that if you are a menstruating person, then uh, keep track on things. And you might find that on the days when you really can't be bothered, maybe that's the reason why. Okay. And it just helps as much as anything to understand why you might be having those energy dips. Maybe it's, it's raining outside and you can't be bothered to go out. That's a valid reason too. But for me, it helps to know, oh, that's why I'm feeling that way. Okay, heels up towards your bum. So today we are going to do eight exercises. We're going to do them in blocks of four. And then high knees. And we're going to do them for 30 seconds each. So we'll do two minutes of effort. Then we'll have a minute rest. Then we'll do two more minutes of effort. Then we'll repeat that whole cycle two more times. Okay, make some big hip circles. Loosen everything up. And other way. Lovely. Open the gate. Close the gate again. Hopefully feel a little bit warmer. Do a little good in star jumps just to get that heart rate up a little bit more. Get us glowing at this stage, I think. That's what we're looking for. Good. Now you need a cushion and we'll use that in the first, first block. Our first exercise is going to be on your knees. You're going to take your weight round and then back, round your head and back. The next one, we're going to sit back on our heels we're going to thrust it up in the air and back. Then we're going to do standing row. Um, but let's go with the halo first. Off we go. Okay, one way and then the other way. And you should really feel your core starting to work now. Yeah, pull that belly button towards your spine. Get that corset nice and tight. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're going to go straight into the thrusts. Sit back on your heels and we're going to all in one movement. So squeeze those bum muscles. Off we go. Up to the sky. 
depending on how heavy your weight is if it's a very heavy weight then you can just go just bring it with you to there that's fine squeeze those bum muscles okay 15 seconds five two one lovely okay standing up we're going to go into a lunge sort of position take your weight in this hand and row in let's go so keep that back nice and straight and get ready to swap sides there we go swapping sides Think about the elbow going back. And you can't see mine as well here, but I'm going to go back. Lovely. Last one. Put the weight in front of you. I'm going to reach down, pick it up, bring it to shoulder height. Okay. There we go. And then swap sides. Again, bum goes back as you go to swap. Keep that back straight. So we're going to do six rounds in total, um, 10 seconds to go. If your weight is really easy, I'll give you a, uh, an alternative for this next time around. There we go. I'm going to do one more to even out. We've got your one minute rest now. So we're doing a lot of unilateral exercises. Grab a drink. So if we start on the right hand and the buzzer goes on the right hand, make sure we do one more to take it to the left hand, just so we're evening it up. I'm out of breath, two minutes. Okay, our next round is gonna be squat, home curl. So as your bum goes down, the weight comes up. So you're doing this motion with the weight at the same time as doing this with your bum. So there you go. Russian twist, we're going to go down on the floor again, feet together, you can do them on the floor or slightly up and you tend to take the weight from side to side. And we're going to go hold our hand, our weight in our hand and we're going to keep our back straight, lean forwards, come back up, all the movements coming from the hip and we're going to do some lunges. Okay, let's go with the squat and curl. So the, what I like about doing squats with a, with a good chunky weight is that it gives you that confidence and that ballast to go a little bit further back into that squat because there's a little bit of weight anchoring you out the front here. Okay, keep those knees from creeping towards each other. Two seconds, go, okay. Fresh and twist down on the ground. Feels on the floor, in the air, it's up to you. Ready? Go. Do you know what? I'm regretting leggings already. Getting a bit sweaty. I didn't think my very pasty legs would be, uh... well, you probably wouldn't see me against this white wall. 10 seconds. Try and keep that back nice and straight. Two, one. Whew. Okay, taking your weight in both hands. Feet planted a bit further than hip distance apart. Slight bend in the knee. All the movement comes from the from the hip. Back straight, stay straight, and the legs stay kind of straight. Squeeze the bum on the way up. If you had a light weight and you wanted to make this a bit harder, take it to your chest. Yeah. Okay, rest. No, not yet. Reverse lunge. God, I need a rest. Okay. Weight up by your shoulder and we're going to reverse lunge back. We're going to swap. There we go. We're going to swap midway 
where we're holding the weight. So this is where I say, even if you've got a fairly light weight, it's just changing swap sides with the weight, it's changing that center of gravity for you to make your body have to work a little bit harder to stabilize. And that's what we want as runners. Last one. Okay. Oh, big rest. So now you know what's coming. That's it. We've done it all one time. We're going to do that two more times through. So the core is working all the way through this, whether whether it's a lunge or whether it's that Russian twist, the core's working all the time. That's what happens as soon as you pick up, if I pick this way up in my hand, my core is firing, it's going, oh, we're having to even this out, work so that I'm not going like that. So as much as we do dedicated core exercises, anytime you pick up a weight, if your form is good, you should be bracing that core, everything should be engaged, and that's working hard too. Okay, we're going back to the halo. Are you ready? Let's go around your head and back the other way. So if you didn't have a weight at all, you could use a cushion for this, and you're still activating those core muscles. Because it's not often that you take anything up and over your head other than you jump, eh? Really good. Okay, sit back on those heels and we're going to go one motion. Bum goes up, weight goes into the air. And if it comes to here, that's fine. Go where, go where you've got it. Squeeze those bum muscles on the way up. I can hear things creaky from here. Five seconds. Woo, okay. Okay, we're going to uh, assume the lunge position for the row. We're going to go all the way through 30 seconds on one side, whichever side you're on now. I'm on my right side arm. And then we'll get the, the opposite arm next time through. Five seconds. One. Lovely. Whew. Okay. Over the weight on the floor, we're going to pick it up, swapping over. If your weight's quite moderate, you can take it right up to the sky if you want. But remember, so we're doing it unilaterally, whichever side you started on, you want to finish on the other, even if the buzzer has, has already gone. Sending that bum back. Keeping the back straight when you reach down for your weight. Two, one, time that well. Okay, bigger rest. One minute, and you're halfway through the whole workout. We've got 15 minutes left. I know what you're thinking, that went so fast, I'm having so much fun. Whew. You know, I don't drink as much water any time in the rest of the week as I should, but when, as soon as I start to do with exercise, it's a litre of it gone immediately. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get ready down on the floor, but Joy, you've got 30 seconds, so you need to join me. So 
So remember, feet on the floor, in the air, you can cross your ankles over if you find that a little bit more supportive. We're going to go again in five seconds. Let's go. Back straight, keep that chest up. Well, this one is seeing row, row, row your boat when I do this one. If you see a kettlebell, don't forget to scream. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely. Okay, squat on a curl in the opposite order. Doesn't matter, we're still going to get them all. If you don't have the way, the squat still works. You can take your hands up in front of you just to bring those arms in a little bit. Three seconds. And rest. Whew. Okay, this is like five or six seconds that goes in between. It's just time for us to reset. Okay. Remember this one? Keeping those, that back straight and those legs pretty much straight. Squeezing with the bum muscles to bring us back up. One reverse lunge. So remember, we're taking our weight up to our shoulder and stepping back into that lunge, swapping sides. We're gonna swap that weight over. One. That was a real life example of what I say about the way challenging our balance a little bit more. Okay, one more time from the top, and then we are we good. So remember, on this time round, which which side are you going to row on? I did my right side last time, so I'm looking for that left and if you can ever not remember which one you've got left to do do the weaker side because it's probably the fact that you've gone for the dominant side and you can't remember that it's, we're more likely to pick up a weight with our dominant side so the the less dominant side is the one that's going to need more work anyway so even if we did do it, if I can't remember, go for that weaker side. Okay, what are we going? Hey, look, knees on the floor. Let's go round and back again. Round, back again. Feeling all those core muscles, working hard, pulling in from all sides, from the front, from the sides. Five seconds left. Trying to keep the body nice and nice and still. Okay. Thrust. Back on your heels. Weight going into the air. You may notice that we've done no kettlebell swings today. That's intentional. Uh, I think that's a go-to for a lot of people think picking up a, a kettlebell. But I wanted to show you 
but there's a lot more things that we can do with it. Five seconds left. And it's very easy to do a kettlebell swing badly. Um, and I didn't want to risk that for myself or for you. Okay, what are we on? Ah, the rowing. You're probably there ahead of me. So we're on the side that we forgot about, or just on your weaker side. Five seconds. Elbow going back. Good. We're going to leave it there, we're going to pick it up. If your weight is small, you can take it right up to the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Keeping the back straight. Bum goes back. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, and finish on the side you didn't start on. There we go. Okay, one minute rest. Then we've got our last two minutes. So squat and coil, Russian twist. Do you know I'm starting to feel better? Might look worse, but I feel a bit better, I feel a bit more energised. I feel very sweaty in these leggings though. They were a bad choice. So, 20 seconds. Catch your breath, towel off, have some water, and we're gonna squat and curl. Or just squat. And whatever option that you do in a workout, any workout ever, you're not held to it just because you did it on the first round. It's good. Doesn't mean you have to do it throughout the whole of the workout. Take a step back anytime you want. Or maybe you get a bit more energy. You think, hey, a bit more confident. I can do a slightly harder option. Because as much as we warm up in the warm up, your body's not completely there. Uh, so it might be that second time round, you're like, actually, firing on all cylinders now. Okay, down on the ground, Russian twist. Too busy chatting, here we go. seconds. Five, four, three, two. Woo. Okay, two more exercises. Take your weight in both hands, or maybe there's no way. You can take your hands up by your head in that case. Back straight and squeeze your bum to bring it back up. It's just the hip that's responsible for the movement here. So if you've got no weight, bring your hands up for a little bit more of a challenge. And there we go, one exercise left. It's our reverse lunge. Take your weight up by your shoulder. And there we go. Swap in. Legs over. If you've done any of my videos before, you'll know that I love a reverse lunge. Not a fan of a forwards and backwards lunge. 
I like walking lunges in a forwards direction. So I don't like going forwards then stepping back. Oh no, do you know what happened there? I forgot to swap sides, but I had it on my weaker side, so it's all good. Hopefully you remembered. If not, you'll get it next time. Okay, let's do a bit of cooling down. Make some big hip circles. Thank you for joining me. I definitely wouldn't have had the motivation to do this if I hadn't have been filming it today. Um, okay, calf stretch, back heel into the ground, which is why group classes work, isn't it? You make a commitment to go and turn up there a certain time and place. And if that's not something that's available at the moment, it um, makes it easy not to do your workout. So thank you for being my motivation today. I haven't done much uh, of this myself uh, in the past couple of months because my, um, let's stretch your hamstring, so bum out, front leg straight. Uh, I've missed not teaching in person. So, um, so thanks for being those, uh, those virtual people, the other side of the camera. Okay, front of your thigh, grab your foot, hold on for this one, even if you think your balance is really good because it just gives you that chance to concentrate on the muscle and the stretch, um, not having to think about the, the balancing part. Obviously, I'd say usually it's good to work on your balance wherever you can and stand on one foot, but I think for this stretch, making sure you get it fully the full benefit of the stretch rather than being like this trying to the balance is secondary right now we're working on the stretch first okay inside belly and other way you'll feel sometimes so when i went into that one that this side feels feels a little bit tighter. You'll notice that as you go through your stretches. Sometimes it's, a, it's just a good opportunity to see where those tight spots are. So you can give them some attention later on. Maybe tomorrow do a bit of yoga or something. Okay, right foot round the back, right arm in the air, reach up high and then over your head. Make a nice space around there, through the side of your body. This is the side on me that's always really tight. And swap over. And then things together, stretch out your chest, stand up nice and tall. Bring that chest up to the sky. I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah, come back another day. Hope you uh, are a little bit sweaty like me now. <laughs>